Hello, Chemistry 11 Honors. This is Mr. Chad. And the last video that I talked to you uh, about was the introduction of the simple gas laws. Like we had Boyle's law, Charles's law, Avogadro's law, and then the ideal gas law along with the general gas laws. Now, in this particular case, I want to give reference to two particular reading packages. Now, I don't know if I did it for you this year, but if you, what I've given out may potentially is the gas laws from the Hebden reading. Now, and so what happens is if you take a look at the Hebden readings, what you have is not only do they give you a background explanation of Boyle's law, but they also give you a worked example. So if you take a look at this example that they give you, they use the idea of initial pressure, initial volume is equal to the final pressure, final volume. If you continue on, you also have Charles's law. And the one thing that I would like you to be aware of is this. Notice the temperature here that they use in this particular axis is they use degrees Celsius, okay? Make sure you look at this, okay? And this is why you notice that the volume of one mole of gas is not zero, it doesn't go through the origin. Now, if we had the volume, and if this was Kelvin for temperature, yes, theoretically, the volume and temperature should go through the origin. But please make sure you know the difference between the two, all right? In this case, in the Hepton, they give you degrees Celsius, what I've drawn out is uh, degrees Kelvin, okay? Now, again, in this particular case, notice they do the volume and temperature, okay? So they give you the relationship between the two, but notice again, one thing that you should be aware of is the temperature is degrees Kelvin, okay? So it's, 193 Kelvin. So they convert the temperature to Kelvin. Now, they talk about uh, Gay Lussac's law, which is talking about pressure and uh, temperature, how pressure is directly proportional to temperature. Okay. And again, they give you an example. But notice again, what do they do to the temperature is they convert it to Kelvins. And if you continue on, you have, we'll talk about Dalton's law, but they also have the ideal gas law, all right? So in this particular case, if you flip through the Hepton text, what happens is not only do they give you a background of the material, but they also give you sample questions, which is worked out uh, for you to try, okay? Now, if you take a look at your Zoomdahl text, Zoom doll text, they also give you a background in terms of, uh, you know, the different gas laws. And they go through it in a little bit more detail. But they also give, it to, give you the examples for you to work through. So here on page um, 192 in your textbook, what they do is they go through an example of Boyle's law, okay? And then they give you an example of Charles's law. They give you the background, and then they give you an example of Charles's law on page 195. <clears throat> and they give you an example of Avogadro's law on page 196. All right. And on the bottom of page 196, they give you the ideal gas law. And they go through some background material, and then they give you a sample calculation. Okay. So Although I may not give you the examples in the actual lesson, the onus will be on you to make sure you read through the appropriate pages. And so you actually go through the examples on your own. Okay, so if you go through example like pages 198, they give you another example of the gas laws, the ideal gas laws. Okay, and ideal gas law four, they give you a ton all the way to page number 200 in your textbook. All right, so my recommendation is this. 
when you're going through this unit of the introduction to gas laws, you should have zoomed out page 190 to 201 open as a reference, as well as the Hebden reading. Now, in terms of which one is better, I would say this gas laws, the Hebden reading, is a good basic introduction. But in terms of deeper understanding, I would recommend to focus more on the zoomed out text where it does actually give you a little bit more background material than what the uh, Hebden does. All right, folks. All right. So that is uh, this video is just sort of an introduction or a summary of what you had learned last day and making reference to the two textbooks or handouts that you have uh, to cover the material. All right, folks. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.